بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایز یو نو دیٹ وی آر ڈسکسنگ دا ویری امپورٹنٹ ماڈیول دیٹ از مورفولوجی اینڈ ان دس سیریز وی آر ڈیلنگ وتھ آل دا ایشو ود مورفولوجی ود ان دا ورلڈ لیول ہاؤ وی کین جنریٹ نیو ورلڈ ہاؤ وی کین جنریٹ دا کمپلیکس ورلڈ دا وی ہیو ویری ٹائپ آف ورلڈ لائک ناؤنس لائک ورب لائک ایڈجیکٹو لائک ایڈ ورب دس سیریز ول ٹیل یو دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین generate new words, new syntax and what is the internal structure of the world and in this video you will be able to learn that how you can analyze systematically the words that is called simple nouns if we have the simple noun how you can generate the layer the internal layer the internal structure of the noun within the one module of linguistics that is morphology and this video will be, will be very helpful for all of you if you are working on morphology and i want to tell you that if you are new in our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics and in this series i want to dedicate the mother of all the world and you must pray for first your mother and then my mother also and let's move towards our topic our first claim is that if the syntax in the study of elements of the world in the sentence layer what is the study of the world layer how we can generate the world systematically if there is the same system that we can apply within the sentence generating the new world or we have another sufficient another system that we can apply on the world formation if this is the human capacity of generating world or this is the human capacity of generating the new sentences so one logic is that both the things must be generated with the same mechanism and this is the claim of the our claim in our videos that syntax is all the way down and this is the claim and this claim is put forward by the distributed morphological theorist and they claim that syntax is all the way down it means that when we analyze the sentence and while analyzing the sentence we have the system same system can be applied within the world level and the world also can be generated by the applying the same system that in the syntax and in simple way we can say that there is the syntax of world and at the upper level there is the syntax of the sentence and in this video i will tell you and i will give you the analysis of the simple noun how simple noun can be generated see our first claim is that we have the two entities the terminal nodes and the morpheme and we have a two types of morpheme that is the functional morpheme and the lexical morpheme our lexical morpheme is the roots the semantic roots and the second is the categorizer heads and they operate systematically every categorizer head select some roots if this head is the verb it gives this root the feature of the verb if this head is the noun this will give the root the feature of noun this n selects root as the complement like in syntax we can see that every head selects some complement and it assigned in the complement some feature some value some feature some role and like the same way this n selects this root at this place we don't say that this is the noun this is the verb this is the adjective this categorizer head selects this root as the complement and then it becomes the np and this np has the feature of the noun it will become the noun this book now has become the noun because the categorizer head of noun has been attached to that root and this head will make the book the noun the second problem is that the book is not sufficient because we have the singular the plural form 
the case marking system, the number system in languages. And if we say that this is sufficient, this is not possible. We can say that it can be book, but how we can generate the word book? This is the NP. This has assigned some features of N. This is not now the root. This has become the noun N. And if this N the same way is selected by the number head, it has some feature like this N. This has some features, the synthesis feature, the functional feature. This don't have any feature. This has some feature and this encode transmit the feature to the root and this will become the NP, the noun. And if we have the noun, we have the next option that is the singular form, the plural form. So the number head selects the NP. And if this selects the NP, it has some feature. The plural feature, the singular feature. If the feature of number is singular, it will become the singular noun. If this is have the plural, it will become the plural book. So it means that this will attach it to this because this has the strong feature. This is also moves at this place and this is also move at this place and we can say like in syntax this will move just like this. Here we have the S and here we have the NP and here we have the book and here we have the S morpheme and this will become the books. And if we say the singular here we have the null because we don't have an inflection overly but covertly it has some slot over that slot we can insert the morpheme for logical morphological case marking number marking see another example if we have the root pen it is selected by the n and it has no feature this n has some feature and this assign the some feature of noun it will become the NP and this is not sufficient we can say that pen pens and if we talk about any other language we can say that if we talk about the Hindi language we can say a column if column is the noun at this place if we suppose that in morphology column is the root categorizer head will encode the feature the noun and now the second process is that we have to generate the plural morphine the plural the plural category of the column we can say that column a column and these are the features of the numbers and we can say that the same process will be followed and this will move at this place and after that place it will be assigned the singular form, the plural form. This is the syntactic structure of the morphology and how we can generate the simple word. The same structure, the same mechanism is being applied within the word level. The mechanism that head selects the complement. Root is the complement. Categorizer has the functional category. Categorizer selects the roots because categorizer has possesses some function if there are some functional category they will perform the some functional role but roots don't have any feature roots don't have any function property so root is selected by the categorizer head and the categorizer head has some functional feature and categorizer head will mark either the world the roots is the noun the root is the verb, the root is the adjective and this is our simple analysis, the morphological analysis of the English items that how we can generate the word, how we can make the word singular and plural form. If you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and
linguistics thank you very much